Okay, thank you so much. And uh, we have already mentioned that you have already mentioned that um, the Globe Theatre it plays a vital role uh, in Elizabethan uh, period. Okay, especially uh, Shakespeare took the initiative to build up it, and Queen Elizabeth what assisted or they helped him a lot, so that people can watch and to train themselves going to the theatre. Even there is a number of what segmentations or what somewhere a classification for what reason some royal people uh, can uh, could also sit there and the other portions we have seen the common people and the, some other officials even globe uh, theater has some other specialty <coughs> what are the specialty of uh, the globe center first of all uh, it has you have seen the from the picture there is no roof okay it's an open. Or why it's uh, uh, why it is open? Because I have already mentioned that in that time, the people, what, believe in ghost. So ghost never comes, what, throughout the uh, earth. They must come from the heaven or the sky. That's why they need the paths. Okay. At the same time, it has another speciality. Before the setting of the globe theater, there is no space for what, for the actor and actress dress up but it is a it, it, it has a space it has a space uh, it has a uh, space for what to change up to dress up the actor and actress okay then uh, the theaters were closed in 1590s because of the key plague outbreak in 1598 the ground landlord of the theater wouldn't renew the less because he uh, disapproved of theatrical production. So, before the Elizabeth era, we have seen that there was also a theater, but it was what stopped or what left by the people because of the what plague. Okay, as plague is of what can be transmitted from one person to another person very easily. So, it was bandaged. If a plague disease man come in the theatre, what's happened? It can be or is spread to the other. That's why. But after stopping the plague, plague, what's happened? The contemporary government or the king the, didn't allow to reopen, renew of what? The theater. As a result, we have seen that after 1590 there was no theater. And he planned to pull down the theater and sell the building okay, materials. I mean, support. It's another thing as well. Then, support. The Chamberlain's men found a clause in their former, less giving them the rights to the theater and the actors. Disman uh, uh, dismantled the building themselves, transporting the materials to the other side of the James River. I mean, support it's a new version to change it. I mean, so, uh, as it is not allowed here, so they have intended to shift it, it other places. The new playhouse was called the Globe and became the most famous of London theatre. So I mean support after bending the first one whenever they shifted it the other places that is called a what whenever they established it in, in a new way that is called the what the globe theatre. The characteristics of drama in the Elizabethan age it, that is of what sets were not elaborate. Clothing was fancy. Elizabethan period dress and all male actors. So until the Elizabethan period, we have seen that female can, could not what performs on the stage. A male character disguises himself and became a what female. That was the nature of Elizabethan drama. Did use some specific effects, especially sounds, banner, and musicians. I have already mentioned that the impact of setting, <laughs> impact of her plot, impact of the theme, and the stage direction. I mean, so in the stage direction, 
they have used the specific sounds, banners, musicians. I mean, so what? Because of the Globe Theatre, we have seen that because of the Elizabethan uh, period, drama has been got another K shape, another impact or the dimension as well. So another, the plays were typically performed in the early afternoon, in the early afternoon around 2 p.m. Why not? Why it was not performed in the morning? Why it, is not, it was not performed after the sunset? The reason is very clear to us. At the early morning, until the noon, the people were busy in their own household task. Where in the evening, the afternoon, whenever they are free, they came to the theater and they enjoyed it. After the sunset, they went back home and there was no lighting system. That's why, that's why they were bound to perform the drama around uh, 2 p.m. or the afternoon. Then what flags were raised at the theater on the day of the play? It's a new dimension. It's a new change. It's a of what new significant as well. You have seen that whenever a new uh, cinema or something else uh, what is going to be broadcast what's happened we see that new banner is there new color is there I mean so what the flag is also what a symbol that a new theater new play is going to be started okay then flyers were what distributed to the Advertise place. So I mean support your new dimension again that advertisement started in that time So thank you uh, Very much for what reason I think you have understood What of what? What the importance of Globe Theatre when it was started and what is the importance of the Globe Theatre in the world drama at the same time you can understand or you have learned what are the major features of the Elizabethan drama. Okay. Next, next. I mean, today uh, in the next session, we are going to start a what? Discussing Shakespeare's drama, Macbeth.